John, Mr. Backyard Mechanic. Going to do a quick unboxing, uh, assembly, and review of this Polar 18 cubic foot um, dump cart for the back of my tractor. It's pretty big. I don't know if I went overboard. The box is a little banged up, and if I take open it and find it's broken or damaged, it's going to go right back to Lowe's. So let me drag it out of the car here and open it up. Okay, so basically inside the big box you have the dump cart itself and then the parts laying inside, two boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and open up. Actually, read the instructions. <laughs> It doesn't say... Didn't, didn't it? It's so funny how people can't list what tools you'll need. So there's basically three steps. Assembling the trailer frame, well, attaching the trailer frame to the axle assembly. So I guess this is a trailer frame, yeah. And here's the axle assembly. And then uh, attaching the dump simply with, looks like four bolts and some square type washers. So, all in all, it's pretty straightforward. I won't be able to uh, video me bolting stuff together, but that never really serves a purpose anyway. But I'll, I'll, I'll show as I go along step by step, and I'll time it also. I'm assuming it'll take about a half hour, maybe less. here um, under features it has heavy-duty polyurethane tub tubular all-steel frame original tilt and pivot frame quick release tipper latch shielded ball bearings no greasing needed cleaner dump versus comparable models comparable models works great with a ATV or a lawn tractor pass-through axle for extra ground clearance heavy-duty wide steel rims it says here, easy assembly, only 10 bolts. 1,000 pound capacity, model number 9876. Shows you how it works there. All right, so let's get to work. I'll check the time now. In a small box um, that contained the two wheels with the tires and the medium-sized box had the frame the nuts and bolts and everything else so far I'm about uh, three or four minutes into it just unpackaging everything now I'm gonna lay it out and start putting it together Okay, I just spread the box out to lay the parts on, and I opened up the bag of the nuts and bolts. Put them here in the uh, cart itself, dump cart. That way, I don't lose any nuts or bolts. I do live on a hill, so I'm about uh, seven minutes into this now. Step one taken care of, took about three, four minutes. Um, what I did was tighten it up really snug and then loosen it up because they said to ease assembly, you know, have everything loose and then tighten it up at the end, which makes sense. I'm also cheating, I'm using my air gun and I stand corrected. These nuts are three quarter inch and these here are um, nine sixteenths, okay? Just clarify that. Now we're on step two where you install this they call it the tube, hitch tube, and the tires. So let's get on with that. Center tube on. The bolts are a little loose. Like I said, I tighten them up and then loosen them like three turns. And I got the tires on, pretty simple. 
you got a washer, the tire assembly with a bearing on it, and a washer and this simple pin in there to keep the tire on. Onward to step three, which is basically installing the, the tub itself. Got everything attached. What I have to do now is um, torque everything down, make it real tight. Tighten these six bolts down. Um, tighten them down snug and then like a full turn, make them really tight. I'll just check them every once in a while periodically. Again, these are 916 nuts with a large Phillips head or a flat head. I'm going to flip it over and do the uh, tighten down the uh, larger bolts in the bottom. I'm going to flip it over. And tighten these down really good. Made sure that all the weight was going, you know, towards this end when it sits up and then tighten it down. These you tighten and loosen them like a full turn because this is a swivel and this is your dump. So you want to be able to make sure it, you know, dumps and swivels. So you don't want to really tighten the hell out of that. I'm going to spray some lithium grease in there too. So that pretty much wraps it up. Assembly time is about 35 minutes. I spent another five, 10 minutes looking for my sockets, <laughs> so I can't include that. So it was a 9 16th socket or wrench. You could use either a large flat head here or a large Phillips head. I use a flat head, it worked fine. And a three quarter inch socket. And as we know it, you can probably use your foot in this if you want to, but it holds down like that. It dumps. Seems like a decent dumping angle. And then if you want to dump it to the side, you just swivel it. The whole axle turns a good, wow. Almost 90 degrees. So if you have to pull up to something and turn it to dump it, that works too. And that's about it. Looks really durable. I tightened all the bolts pretty good. I'd say a little more than, you know, I'd do it snug and then like one or two full turns more. I didn't want to over torque it because then you know you'll pull the well you might increase the chances of the plastic cracking but so that's about it I hope you liked the video subscribe to me I'll be doing further reviews and uh, later on I'll do a review of this thing filled up with stuff and dumping it give me a thumbs up if you can and uh, if you want subscribe thanks for watching